Local 100, our first priority was getting the system back up and running. We did that. We have almost a thousand members that live right here in the Coney Island area and the adjacent Garrison Beach area. Their homes, they were totally wiped out. Some people had eight feet of water in their homes. No electricity, no clothing, no pictures. There are people living out of their cars, living with relatives. There's still a lot of people who are not back to normal. On a daily basis, we reach out to the members, making sure that they are uh, receiving the proper resources. We're constantly updating a website, sending emails. We're giving out donations that are collected by transit workers as well as other communities. We reached out to our brothers and sisters out here in Local 100. They basically gave us a list of stuff that people would need. And considering that we had a warehouse next to our union hall, we decided to open it up to start collecting donations from our members as well as SEPTA, the authority that employs us. You know, cases of trash bags, shovels, brooms. Baby formula, baby clothing, um, blankets, towels. Protective clothing, dust masks, bleach to deal with the mold. Everything you can imagine that you need to clean your home we provided that to our members. It's one thing to witness this on television, but when you're here actually seeing the faces of the people who are affected by it, it's very, very disheartening. Just to drive down these streets and see their homes being emptied out and, and all the debris and the water lines and how they were affected. You know, I'm not old enough to say that I lived through the Great Depression, but I think I've seen it. These people are standing in line for a daily meal, any kind of handout that's coming. When Hurricane Sandy came, it wasn't winter for us. So their winter stuff was destroyed. It's hard to replace your whole winter outfit. This is how it's been every day. FEMA's the first on the scene, but after FEMA leaves, who does the community have to depend on? We have been connecting to a lot of community groups, whether it's in Canarsie, Coney Island, Far Rock, away Staten Island. We were really devastated by the impact of Hurricane Sandy. Our office sustained over five feet of water, which essentially means that we lost everything. Our furniture, our paper files, our computers. The building is still standing, so we've been using the space to do relief work. Today we are having a toy drive with uh, toys and school supplies. And also some warm food for the parents that are accompanying them. In this season, you know, there's a lot of things to worry about, a lot of negative stuff going on. So if you could create a system of normalcy for the kids and give them something to hope for, or wish for by providing a toy or something they can enjoy just to provide a little bit of happiness. When you know that you're able to give a toy to a child or help someone get a pair of gloves or just have a person come and hug you and say thank you, which people did today, it's pretty overwhelming. I think TWU is one big family. This is what we do on an everyday basis, whether it's for our members or for the community. We live in the community as well as work in the community. We're just spreading the love.